school walkouts Hi. around this Los Angeles area. Hi. And the school walkouts were focused on bringing up the changes that needed to be made within the school system when it came to Mexican American students. They weren't getting the same treatment, they weren't getting the same education, they weren't getting the same privilege that um, persons of, that are non-colored that were getting within the school system. One big thing that they focused on during that walkout was also the Vietnam War and police brutality within the communities that we were facing during the 1960s um, in the Los, 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 uh, Los Angeles area. And um, after that, after that happened, the Brown Berets became a big organization that went all the way across the country that stood for and um, committed themselves to making the similar, cha similar changes that were necessary in the communities across the United States when it came to police brutality, when it came to poor education for Mexican Americans, when it came to uh, just overall socioeconomic conditions that we face in communities. Hey! And so, um, <laughs> tell me a little bit about why you're here today. So we're here today because we're having a vigil for uh, Sergio Salazar. Sergio Salazar. He's a member of an autonomous chapter of Brown Braves out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, him and his chapter uh, are <laughs> occupying the ICE detention facility in their community. During, during this occupation of the ICE detention um, center in their community, this individual's DACA expired. And the same day that his DACA expired, ICE picked him up and took him into custody, and he's been in custody ever since. And so, I guess, um, what, what are you all going to be doing today? You kind of walked me through some of it, but I was wondering if you could just kind of tell me um, what, you have, what, what all activities are you going to be doing? Or uh, you would have to ask her. She's okay. So basically what we're doing is we are holding a prayer vigil and rally. So like I had stated before, we have our altar up, and what we're going to be doing is sending out our prayers. <laughs> um, not in the traditional... Christian way as I explained but while we are burning our medicine which is sage and copal uh, we're also going to be you know praying and sending our prayers out to creator um, we're also going to be rallying we're going to have a couple signs and we're probably going to go live on Facebook in solidarity with our other autonomous groups that are doing the same thing um, today and this evening in hopes that our voices will be heard and um, you know something can be done for Andres or Mapache come on baby don't talk good I know, baby. Um, I'm sorry. Um, Andres? Andres Sal. No, 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 no. Sergio Salazar. Okay, I want to make sure. Uh, what made you all decide to say we want to hold a vigil? We want to pray for them and we want to invite them and pray with us. Um, for Sergio, I mean, not to minimize what he's been through, but there's ice has been rounding up people, you know, you know, other people who, some of them aren't even. Um, uh, we're still legitimately protecting the dog, that's the thing. Yeah. I was just wondering, what was it about this case that made you all decide to motivate you this game? Well, for one, he's part of the same organization that we're part of. I told you no, Jackman. Um, we're, we're part of the same organization. He's a brown, an, an autonomous brown beret member out of his community. So, of course, when um, a brown beret outside of our community goes through a struggle, we like to stand in solidarity with that chapter and help them out in any way that we can. And when, um, you know, we've been holding vigils in the Watsonville the Watson community on and off ever since the whole uh, ordeal has been happening in the Trump administration and we have them vigils that they deem undocumented or DACA expired or illegal, whatever terms you want to use. Uh, we've been holding vigils and protests we just wanted to really make sure that with this vigil, um, that we, I guess you would say, make sure that we show our solidarity, our stance on solidarity with that other chapter out there in San Antonio, Texas, pretty firm by, um, like, you know, setting up our altar and putting the Freedom of Ponche bandana up and putting in prayers specifically for, for our, our young brother over there that's going through a hard time right now being unjustfully incarcerated just due to the fact of his immigration status. 
not because he's a criminal, not because he broke any laws as a, 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 here in the community or anything like that, but because the government has has um, deemed the way that he came into this country illegal at this point. Um, so we're here for him for that. What is that? What is that? Which one? Both of them. What are they called? Candles? Yeah. Yeah, they're candles. No. What is this called? What? Sergio Salazar, A.K. Mapachi, has been ICE detention since August 3rd, 2018. He got picked up from the occupation encampment in San Antonio, Texas. The morning his DACA expired, it is no consider coincidence, coincidence sorry, that he was detained. Mapache is a dedicated warrior to the <coughs> cause and a pillar in the community. He regard, regardly assists in the weekly food not bombs at several in San Antonio and is very outspoken on LGBTQ plus issues, decolonized efforts and promoting anti-fascism. Mapache may be young, but he has a lot of heart and a good head on his shoulders. He is also a high school graduate and an aspiring filmmaker. Between his hobbies and his community activism, he has um, and his community activism, he has no time to fool around. As a peaceful activist, Mapache has never been in any trouble with the law. He has no history of violence or being a menace to society. He is an ambitious young man trying to make the world a better place. So here, Selena's Brown Berets and Watsonville Brown Berets came out today to show solidarity with our brother um, and hold this vigil that's happening all around the U.S. We have different chapters, autonomous chapters, doing the same thing, sending out their prayers in hopes that he'll be released. So all we want is for our brother to be released. We also want to send a message that we're against ICE, okay? We do not endorse anything that has to do with them. We've been actively um, holding rallies and actively um, protesting ICE and we have been actively holding rallies for the reunification of families. Yeah. No, baby. Come on. Two, three. Free Mabache! Free Mabache! Free Mabache! Stop the deportations! Remove all ice from our community! This is a sanctuary city! California is a sanctuary city, and we need to protect our brothers and sisters in San Antonio, Texas, all throughout the Southwest. Free Mapache! Free Mapache! Free Mapache! Salinas, in solidarity with our brothers and sisters that are right now in detention. We are here to show our solidarity with you with the Brown Berets. Free Mapache! Free Mapache! Free Mapache! The Watchmo Brown Berets are here present so we can stop the deportations, the separations of family. You know, we need all this craziness of people getting taken away from their families to stop. As teachers in California, we're also here in solidarity to support our DACA students. They are not alone. And just like Mapache, we want all of our dreamers to know that we're here in solidarity with you. We are united as a community. And if it's Salinas, Los Angeles, these manifestations that are to free Mapache are to show that California and our Southwest region, we want an ice-free zone. Stop the deportations! Stop, Stop the deportations! 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 There is always going to be power with people. 
We will continue fighting for what is right until justice is served. We will not leave. We are here to stay. Free Mapache! Free Mapache! Free Mapache!